The 1970s were a golden age for Bigfoot movies. It all started with the Patterson-Gimlin film released in 1967. You know what I'm talking about. The grainy, shaky footage that allegedly shows a large ape-like creature power walking through the forests of Northern California. That footage has been scrutinized and analyzed more than the freaking Zapruder film. Isn't it funny how Bigfoot sightings have become fewer and fewer, particularly when you take into account how much better cameras are nowadays? Or the fact that most of us walk around with a 4K camera in our pocket makes you think, doesn't it? I think Bigfoot is blurry. That's the problem. <laughs> it's not the photographer's fault. Charles B. Pierce's The Legend of Boggy Creek made a big impression on audiences back in 72. The movie raked in $20 million at the box office, making Bigfoot a bankable attraction. From there, movies like Shriek of the Mutilated, The Legend of Bigfoot, The Curse of Bigfoot, and Bigfoot were released, each hoping to cash in on Bigfoot mania. And bonus points to Shriek of the Mutilated for being called Shriek of the Mutilated. The Legend of Boggy Creek may be the best known of the bunch, but for me, Creature from Black Lake is easily the best. The movie focuses on a couple of college kids from the big city who venture down south to the bayous of Louisiana in search of... You know who. It's a simple setup that you'd probably expect to deliver simple, straightforward results, right? Well, Creature from Black Lake has a little more depth than I was expecting. Sure, we get Bigfoot action, and the last act of the movie actually provides some tense moments. But there's more going on here. Of course, you have the clashing of cultures you'd expect when fast-talking Yankees visit us laid-back Southern folk. But the relationships between the characters actually has meaning. There's some great scenes involving the two Squatch Hunters played by Dennis Fimple and John David Carson, and a family who had a deadly encounter with the creature many years ago. The two manage to bribe their way into joining the family for supper. It's a cozy scene where the city boys get their first taste of down-home country cooking. However, their eagerness to pry into the past quickly wears out their welcome. There's a lot of nice little moments here, such as when the two are treated to a musical number from the family's son, played by Jim McCullough Jr., the film's writer. And check out these lyrics. Well, she's five foot seven and built like heaven, and I pick her up every Friday night at seven, and we eat a little pizza and we go to a show. You, my woman, don't you know? They also discover that the myth they're chasing has had real impact on a lot of people's lives. Now, I'm not saying Creature from Black Lake is a deep meditation on sociocultural perspective or anything, but it dabbles. Some of the hijinks our protagonists get themselves into while not squatch hunting is quite entertaining. For instance, they play audio of what they believe to be the creature's eerie shriek in a diner, freaking out the patrons. They also make the acquaintance of two cute local girls, one of which just happens to be the town sheriff's daughter, who already doesn't think too highly of the boys, so imagine his reaction when he catches all four of them together in a tent. There were stretches of the movie that I completely forgot about the Bigfoot angle, and was just having a blast with their fish-out-of-water foolery. Creature from Black Lake treats us to a cast full of colorful and likable characters. Then you throw in veteran character actor Jack Elam, who plays Squatch Survivor and super drunk Trapper Joe. And you've got a real winner here. Director Joy Hook Jr. and cinematographer Dean Cundy do a great job of keeping the creature in the shadows or filming it from a distance. Not that the creature looks bad or anything, but sometimes less is more. Keeping the creature at a distance and bathed in shadow also keeps it mysterious and dangerous. You never get the sense that the creature is going out of its way to harm anyone. It just seems to be protecting its turf, standing its ground against interlopers. If it's hungry and you have tasty looking animals on your property, it's going to eat them. If you get too close and it sees you as a threat, sorry about your luck. Creature from Black Lake has a great look and feel. The setting and atmosphere are eerie. I love the characters and the 70s aesthetic. I can't recommend it any higher. I also highly recommend this Blu-ray release from Synapse Films. This release features a brand new 4K restoration from the original 35mm camera negative. The 4K restoration complements Dean Cundy's cinematography beautifully. There's very little damage present, the grain levels look natural and aren't overwhelming, the image is crisp, the colors are vibrant, and there's plenty of detail present. For audio, we're treated to a DTS HD Master Audio 2.0 mono track, which sounded clean and clear. I'd give the picture quality on this release a 5 out of 5 and the audio quality a 4 out of 5. 
As far as extras are concerned, first up we have Swamp Stories with Director of Photography Dean Cundy. It's 19 minutes and 5 seconds in length. Mr. Cundy discusses his early career as a cinematographer after graduating film school. He discusses shooting Creature from Black Lake in Shreveport, Louisiana, and how delighted the locals were to have a movie being shot in their town. He discusses working with Jack Elam and the rest of the cast and crew. He discusses doing the makeup for the creature, shooting the film in widescreen, and how pleased he is that this release will feature the proper aspect ratio, how fond he is of the movie, and more. We get the original theatrical trailer and an original radio spot, and we get an audio commentary with horror scholar Michael Gingold and film historian Chris Pagiali. And I do apologize if I butchered that last name. This is a mighty fine release for Creature from Black Lake from Synapse Films. If you're a fan of the movie, then this release belongs in your collection. If you've seen Creature from Black Lake, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, let me know what your favorite Bigfoot movie is. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Thank you to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and have a say in what content appears on my channel. Join me for monthly live streams and much more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.